Hello everyone, Mr. Storkin here. Welcome back to Mortal Kombat 10. Today we're going to take a look, continue our um, look at the classic towers, this time with dear old Kun Lao, the one who's famous, famous for dying. If you want to know our plans for it, it's going to be Kun Lao, Liu Kang, Katana, then Melina, and then Kano, Sonya, Jax, Johnny Cage, because I'm looking forward to that one, Kenji, and then we move on to the next generation, and next generation and then we move on to the villains of darkness um devora um quan chi and shinnok but let's get to the kun lao i am gonna go with tempest um and easy mode because i am horrible at this game in case you can tell by my horrible experience playing as rain last time check that out down below but let's get to it with Jax. how's everyone doing today i'm doing okay there's friendly construction around so if you do hear like noises that's what's happening let's take on jackson's massive army hands <laughs> those are pretty cool actually Ready for this, Lao? Posturing will not help. I can back it up. Round one. It's kind of odd. It looks like um, Kun Lao has gotten some age on him, even though he has uh, been canonically dead for a while. His death is like one of the main story beats of the series. Like, he has to die no matter what. He has a hat. That can stop people. So, yeah. I'm not particularly good at him, but I never said I was. Um, Go, go. I don't know what the tornado move was, but uh, of his moves, this is the least objectionable. So, ow. Wait, go with the hands, Jack. Ow. I know it's bad when I'm not doing well in the first round, but okay. <laughs> Careful. It's not really toasty, but it works. <laughs> I, I don't think I could ever uh, aspire to be the same as toasty. I mean, you do you. I wonder if Toasty's in any of them. I'd be surprised. Ow, that actively hurt. Okay. Come on. I'm not good with the tornado move. Again, I'm not great with Kun Lao. That was a great form of... He's a really good um, defense move, so I'm not going to lie. As you just, you know, pose for the thing. He, Kun Lao is just very arrogant. In this series, um, I don't know how to feel about him. He has certainly aged in that one, which is odd because he is clearly dead. Not only is he dead, but he's also a revenant, so he's extra dead. But corrupt evil, ooh, ominous. <laughs> Let's go against Tremor, which I'm gonna be curious to see how this goes. Your death will satisfy my rage. Enough talk. Enough talk indeed. Round one. Kun Lao feels like an afterthought in this game, I'm not going to lie, because he isn't prevalent much in the story, which is odd, except for that one moment. I think you, you yeah, you have one fight against him as uh, Rain, so uh, he does feel like a bit of an afterthought when I think Sindel was a better um, addition to the roster than maybe him. So that's just my thoughts. Out. No boulders for you, because I said so. <laughs> Yeah. Round two. Fight. Oh wow, uh, that hurt. There we go. Ah. Okay, I was like, he's gonna defend that for some reason, and I knew it. So yeah, uh, Kun Lao has this uh, spiky little hat that he uses as a saw. It's very gross sometimes, um, but it's a classic for a reason. So yeah. Oh, we finally pulled off that um, move. Good to know. As I. Don't even use the special move yet, which is very odd. Okay, Tremor was easier than Jax, which is really odd. I, I think he needs a better outro, too. Maybe have something with the hat. But that just felt really odd. The outros are definitely something that he's improving upon. But they can't really improve upon it because the game's done. Okay, so it's going to be Scorpion and Reptile, which is an interesting combination. Um, normally, stun Scorpion Sub-Zero like I did. But okay. Long have I sought this. Then you seek the afterlife. Round one. That is a very interesting costume on you, Scorpion. It does not work at all. I, I guess it's meant to be the the Cold War skin pack that they did. But I'm sorry, but Scorpion doesn't fit it. Oh, that's a cool move. If I could have pulled it off better, it would have been awesome. But the point is, like, he does the Beyblade move. I call it the he's the Beyblade character because he just spins around a lot. Ow. 
There we go. And it feels like a Beyblade, honestly. But it's really sharp. Of his hats, I don't like it when they really change the hat. Like, it gets more blazed because that ultimately changes its aerodynamics. That's ultimately how things work with, you know, justice and everything. But, I mean, you do you. It, it does change the hat. Fundamentally. But, okay. We are not doing well against Scorpion here, which is not good. Really not good. Uh, take that. Oh boy. We're gonna do a special because why not? Oh, that just hurts to wash. It stays in there, and but I like that move where he just rotates it around. That's really cool. Really excessive, but okay. I guess I'll just do this where he just <laughs> He just just punches him a lot. That's pretty funny. In a messed up kind of way. Yeah, what he said. Boom. No idea what he says, so I'm just gonna be like, yes, I agree. Unless I don't know what it means. Reptile, it looks like Ooh, didn't Devora. Cool, that should be interesting. Oh, I love that design of reptile with the vomit there. That's good. I have found you. I was not hiding. You will wish you had. Round one. I love that tongue move. I'm, I'm glad Reptile is in this game. It definitely does make... It's, it, it, I always find other characters that just decide to add. MK1 looks like they're the first one to really have a lot more fun with the character, which is great. I, I love it when they really do want to redesign characters or want to find a way to use them. I love it. Okay. Sorry, that was that um, Venom thing. I had to think, like, is that something outside of my door? Like, no one... While there is construction going on, it is not bad because that was not boiling acid. Unless like someone's working with boiling acid, by all means, you do you. Round two, fight. Because you know, you do you. Take that and that some more. Whoa. Okay. Um. Guess we have to go on the offensive, actually. Um. Bah. Don't jinx it, MH. Don't say anything about Flawless Victory yet. Uh, yeah, that's why I don't say anything about Flawless Victory. Because of stuff like that. Well, that works out well, because he was already on the floor by the time we finished that attack. Again, what he said. I don't know who we're going to fight. No, we, it's Devorah next. I was going to say it's Devorah. Devorah, and then who's after Devorah? Sub Zero. Oh, cool. I would have done Scorpion, Sub Zero, Reptile, then Devorah, but that's just how my cookie would crumble. It's a very odd way for my cookie to crumble, but it works nonetheless. It really does. The mysterious Kung Lao. Come and know me better. You will remain a mystery forever. Round one. Like you, and please put on more clothes. I d can't trust this a lot. Devorah, um, less of you the better. Ow. Again, I love this just area. It's really well designed. I couldn't tell if they were trying to tease uh, Shao Kahn's return or something, because um, I know it sounds odd, but there's a trophy for complete the story, and it's the uh, Shao Kahn statue, or armor. So part of me was like, are they trying to tease for that or not? I'm just generally asking, because he is here. Take that. Ow. Oh, she's using her fatal blow. I didn't think she was. Ugh. Ew. Uh, uh. That's definitely the most nasty one. I can't tell if it's because of the bug or why, but hers are just really, really nasty. Ouch. Ouch. Take that. Oh. Ooh. I was like, do we even get the attack in? We did, which is A-OK. -okay. I'm going to do that because I feel like that's the right decision. I feel wrong even as I'm doing it. We're spine broke, so that's okay. Ow. Woohoo, that worked out. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> oh, frick. <laughs> um, good, I squashed that bug. That was uh, very nasty. The head is looking like right at me, which is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> but Jesus, okay. Who's after Sub Zero? Uh, Katana or Melina? Either one. 
That was an interesting fight indeed. I don't know where I'm going with that at all. Long have I sought this. Do you enjoy pain? Round one. Yeah, I, I don't like Kun Lao's introduction because it just feels kind of like forced, like, oh boy. Ow. Please uh, stop that move. There we go. He just. Oh, unbreakable. I thought I said unlikable. I'm just like, hey, I know Kun Lao's unlikable, but hey, that's part of his charm. Ouch. Okay, that actively hurt. Uh, go, go, go. Ouch, that hurt a lot. I suppose, uh, okay, that was a really sneaky move. Okay, I will admit I'm hitting the freeze stuff, but you could at least counter it. But okay, we went for the Nick tie, and then he teleported with his hat. I wish I could teleport with my hat. It'd make things so much easier. I'd be like, huh, where's my hat? And then just teleport to my hat that I've lost. So, yeah, I'm, I messed up that super, which is very not good. Take that. Um, I'm gonna throw this at you, because uh, it's fire and it burns. Um, take that, please, and <laughs> um, I'm just pressing random buttons. Hope you saying how there's no way me to get brutality like that with Devora. Especially because this is a different arena, but oh my god, we just like literally squashed the bug. Interesting. At least I know how to perform brutality in that area, which is okay. Oh, it's Cassie, not even Melina or them. Okay. Uh, I want to say Aaron Black's after her. I could be wrong. I feel incredibly wrong just saying that. Okay, Cassie, let's do this. Move it or lose it. Move what or lose what? I'll show you. Round one. Fight. Oh, you're gonna like destroy us, aren't you, Cassie? Anyway, Cassie, she'll be covered down the line. She's like the second to last batch of characters we'll take a look at in the next generation, um, right before the um, out the Dark Brotherhood. I don't know. I'm the villains of the game. Ow. Addicted you are. Okay. As I miss. Okay, that's uh, interesting. That does not make things easy for us. Uh, I hope that hurt even more. Okay, uh, I like my hat back, please, but okay. But okay, we were able to make a comeback there, which is very good. I'd be very concerned if someone had a hat that could cut someone like that. I would be very concerned indeed. I'd be scared. Most of the Mortal Kombat hats would just scare me if this was like real life, but it's like meant to be a um, over correction, I think. I don't know. Ow. Take that. There we go. Okay, that was handled a little bit better than it initially started out with. It was already like, oh crap, we're going to lose, we're going to lose, we're going to lose. We made it back, and then we're like, oh, that's pretty easy. But anywho, let's move on. I would say Aaron Black's next one. I feel like I'm right. Yeah, Aaron Black. It's be Aaron Black, then um, Goro, the giant monster, and then uh, Shinnok. I'm be curious to see what... Um, his ending is going to be Quan Chi. It's not Quan Chi, it's Kun Lao. Let's get the names mixed up time to time again, you know? Enjoying our world. Feels as if everything wants to kill me. I'd go with that feeling. Round one. Oh, yeah, I should Fire. mention this. Um, Because people were going to be like, did you have your hot chocolate from the last time you said you were record? Um, no, because I found out we were out of hot chocolate and I can really go out to get more because the hot chocolate place was closed. And then. And they're like, well, then you could have got some today. And I'm like, huh, I could have, but um, I had to work. So, yay, I didn't have time to go out and get myself hot chocolate. Smell the gun. Okay, you do do, Aaron Black. Um, as we all slice and diss. Come on, go, go, go. Also, I need to quit talking about this. Speaking of work, because I had this conversation when, I, when Daredevil Season 3 was coming out. I was like, oh, that's... Um, he may be bullseye, right? I've been seeing these uh, videos a lot where people use the wrong footage of Daredevil to uh, be like, Daredevil's the better character. And like, that's not Daredevil, that's Bullseye. Also, there's this famous thing I really hate. There's this one guy, um, he does a bunch of these like, animation shorts. I disagree with him so much on things. Um, but it's just because he gets so many facts wrong and this is how passionate I feel about it. It's just like, dude, he did not voice them in that. 
they were talking about Jim Cummings, and they were talking about how, like, Jim Cummings voices Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, and that's indeed correct. However, you went on to say, like, oh, yeah, he also voiced the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. Jim Cummings did not voice him. He did not. I can tell you that. Yes, it is the same voice actor as uh, Winnie the Pooh and um, Ka, but they didn't, he didn't voice him in those. So you saying that he did it in those is like, no, you say he's the modern voice of this character from this. Is that being like, he's this and this. It's just really stupid. Shall I defeat you again, Goro? I will wring your Shaolin neck. Round okay, that's gonna be fight. fun. Uh, eat fire, Goro. But no, he also had like this very clickbait thing about being like, hey, Miles Morales uh, first appeared in uh, Clyde with Chance of Meatballs. The hell, you're. What are you smoking, buddy? And he's just like, just because there's an Easter egg to it, it means that they're the same characters. Like, no, it doesn't. I can't tell if you're being stupid or ignorant. He's at least better than that buff guy. There's this buff guy um, who does these YouTube shorts. Who's really annoying because he's like, yo, nerds. I'm just like, shut up. He's like this butch guy who shouldn't be talking about stuff that he doesn't understand because he's just like, yeah, Kevin Feige got his balls back to make Armor Wars a um, uh, movie instead of a TV show. I'm just like, dude, you're so annoying. And he's like, yeah, what'd you expect? Of course. The Book of Boba Fett was going to be stupid because it was directed by the guy who did uh, Sp um, Spy Kids. I think that's a derivative comment because it's just like, dude, you can be surprised by anything anyone puts out. It was... The main draw for me, the Book of Boba Fett, was the fact that it was directed by Robert Rodriguez, who did Sin City. He was Quentin Tarantino's, like, best buddy. You should be focusing on that instead of the negative being like, yeah, he's ready to spy kid, so he must be a horrible director. And also, dude, a lot that goes into a movie is more than just a director at this point in the studio inter uh, mingling. But I just really hate that guy. He always has this thing with that his shirt off. He's just he's just calling everyone nerds. I'm just like, dude, stop talking. I really hate his videos. I'm so glad they stopped appearing on my feed. But this other guy who just gets like voice actors wrong. His stuff is well edited, but just saying the stuff that he says is just incorrect. Just like baffles me. Well, let's take on Shinnok because why not? On your knees, Shaolin. Grumbling is unknown to me. Your lesson begins. Round one. Fight. Okay. Uh, yes, he's already dead. Um. So yeah, we're going against us. Uh, ooh. Good old Shinnok here, which always has me concerned. This is the corrupt form that has me more concerned, especially with a character I'm not good at. Uh, Ken Lao. But I'm just going to focus on using the blade hack because yeah, that's not good. Mm. Oh, let's see what type of game you're playing. Oh, come on, that miss? How dare it? No. You'll perish. Like that. And that. Anyway. Oh, I know it's going to sound odd because I'm just thinking of like, travel of things and everything. The best thing about traveling, in my opinion, in my humble, honest, great opinion, is finding free HBO. Because I don't have HBO on my TV. Well, I have HBO Max, but I don't have, like, HBO channels. HBO, without a TV guide, I love not having a TV guide, and I love hotel rooms for this alone. I had this conversation with a friend, and it's like, I hate going to hotels because you can't really choose what you want to watch. But also, like, but then you get, like, the lottery that like, you don't know what's going to be on and you can just like find something really great that you wouldn't know would exist and really like it. And he's like, yeah, okay. Because I had to stay a lot in hotels for uh, school and work. And I was just like, okay, I'll do it. So I think, out, get a hotel for one term out. Okay, he's going to win that round. No, he didn't. Okay, I'm impressed. We were able to beat him at the last minute, but it has me concerned about the corruption knock. But okay. But anyway, I love that. I just like find random movies on HBO. One time I found that thing you do, and I was so happy because I just got to watch that thing you do. My friend was like, I'm not going to watch this. So I went in the other room and just watched it on the other television. Because I'm like, I love this movie. You. <laughs> Okay, you're going down, Krupp, Shinnok. Um, though I'm probably going to lose at least once because I'm not going to come out. Ah, the Scorpion's the when I did the worst set because I lost to him. But at the same time, 
That was the first class of tower, so I didn't really know what to expect. So, credit where credit's in? I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say, don't say flawless victory image because then you get screwed. And then right as I was going to say it, aha, I got attacked. Oh, there. This was probably the easier round against Corruptus Shinnok. It definitely felt like it. Uh, tomorrow's going to be um, Liu Kang, so be sure to like subscribe for that so you know when it comes out. And then after that will be Katana Melina. If we have a whole plan. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it does have itself YouTube algorithms. And um, I hope you all enjoy Shinnok's comical death. I find it at least really funny that they kill him just to kill him again as we enjoy Kan Lao's ending. After Shinnok's defeat, Kung Lao found himself trapped in the Nether Realm, his soul corrupted by Quan Chi's dark magic. There he would have remained but for the aid of his cousin Kung Jin. Together, their Shaolin strength repelled the evil sufficiently enough for Kung Lao to escape that dark realm and control his inner demons. Compromised, but not lost, Kung Lao now exists as an agent of vengeance. He will show evil no mercy. Uh, okay, interesting ending. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, we unlocked Termin Kung Lao. That's fine. Oh, we did better than Rain. Much better than Rain, apparently. Okay. Well, we lost like several times Rain. But thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Tomorrow is going to be Liu Kang. And then uh, next day is going to be Katana. Till then, subscribe and we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.